Welcome back, guys, to the Weeb's Closet. My name is Neko. I'm Jake. And today we're here to react, finally, to the soundtrack of Volume 1. It's been quite requested by some of you. and uh, For good you... reason, yeah. Yeah, it is, it is, the soundtrack is great. And, I mean, although that we've ha heard the songs before, uh, <laughs> I, today is going to be more of a deep dive. And mm -hmm. as you can see, it's only going to be Jake and I, because Marilyn and, and Mikey are just... <clears throat> doing their own things they're planning to go to san antonio soon so uh yeah we they don't have the time unfortunately mm -hmm. but it's us and we actually enjoy the music we listen to it regularly so this is gonna be fun it's gonna be weird because it is. um it is this uh i've ex sort of explained this when we first started watching ruby but i'm definitely the newest to the show but i'd say that i started listening to the music like almost half a decade ago like i when i graduated from high school i moved away and kind of really got into anime around that time and my uh it must have been either spotify or it was uh what's the other one the one that's pandora just, pandora yeah uh i had like anime playlists and it would circulate this this rwby show <laughs> and i would they were they were fast they were these fast songs and like these catchy songs yeah and i started to really get into them and like then i'd find find like oh ruby volume one two three four five six and i was like oh my god there's so much of this come to find out it's a show and um so i sort of associate the ruby music with like me being on my own for the first time so whenever i hear these songs it's, it's almost like nostalgic to me in a way but i don't know like the now watching the show i want to see like the context behind it. yeah because and and that's something that is really what it seems to be is that every single that's why people are adamant is because apparently the songs evolve <clears throat> throughout no the problem. seasons so uh with this we're gonna have like an idea of like the background behind each song and whatnot and i think the description and this uh, actually let me see if i can ask sadly i I'll mention in the comments or in like in the in the video who they was well lady I uh, have no idea it's, uh, something about blue the username that gave us the link mm -hmm. so thank you very much I know that the music can be found in YouTube but it, it just it's hard to find the right one that y'all want us to react because some of them are just fan made by some other people as well but this has 15 million views I'm gonna guess this is the one to watch probably <laughs> yeah it's about to hit it that's crazy I didn't even notice but with that said uh this is the first time reacting to any music so mm -hmm. I have no idea how to do it so we're just probably gonna like read it kind of have an idea of what it is and talk about it probably for a bit before mm -hmm. we jump to the next one all right we're, we're gonna try our hardest to react as well <laughs> as we can <laughs> all righty let's go no sing-alongs that's gonna be difficult They see you as a <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Just break into song on the first one. <laughs> these are these are head boppers right here. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, I will, I will listen to this song like working out. Mm -hmm. That's why I was telling like y'all at, at the beginning of the second season, is that this is like gets me hella pumped, and I really want to work out. <laughs> I mean, I'm fat, but I used to. So we have this inside joke that I always say something is my favorite mm -hmm. and you're going to hear me say this is my favorite song like 10 <laughs> times in this video. <laughs> that is honestly true. Every single time it's like, oh, this is like my top five. This is my favorite song. Until the next one. Okay. <laughs> Sever. I thought it was, I always thought it was Suffer. Your guess is good as mine because I never understand the lyrics. I just go along with it, and, and it's not just the songs. It's like in general, any song. It can be even Spanish. I do mm -hmm. not know what they're singing. I just go at it, and that's it. Like I just grab like keywords and mm -hmm. hang on to it. 
<laughs> Fair enough. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I just always love the pace of the music. Like, it knows when to go slow. It knows when to go fast. It, like, I just... It's a great beat. Like, what is the genre of this music? This is my big question. It's I, always been my... I feel, I feel like it just lands on that alternative. Because it's, it's, it's I, like a hard alternative. Mm -hmm. But it, I feel like it also has its punk. It, it's a little punky. It's kind of heavy. Yeah. You know? Like, if it had any other lyric and a different singer, this would be like a heavy metal song to mm -hmm. a degree. Here we go. Anime Metallica. <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah, no, legit. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Uh, any, any actual... Description on this. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, this one doesn't talk too much about it. But it's on background source. I guess. I guess I can just click on this magical thing. But anyways. Uh, no. Yeah. So it clearly is, is. I feel like this one is just mainly talking about Ruby itself. That's what it seems like. But um, something that I forgot to mention is that I, I do know the lyrics to most of these songs, and I don't think that these lyrics they're they're more foreshadowy than like um necessarily hitting ruby on the head mm. um because as of right now ruby is still even in volume two right now we're we're in volume two um mm. she's still the the innocent oblivious character that uh is is a great fighter maybe the best fighter but uh still a child yeah she definitely is and, and that's i think that's exactly what is going for right now i'm just scrolling through the comments and see if i can pick up anything that is not uh uh, spoilerish but yeah no it seems like that's uh her thing it's more like I, and i think that's what this song is trying to hit in on, on the head it's the idea that you know it's it's a girl it's a young kid that's innocent but it's kind of started to bloom because it, it does say like uh the it's about to flower like uh, uh mm -hmm. flower, whatever you know what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. <laughs> but point is that um uh, that, that, I think it seems like that is the whole point of it right now. It's just like seeing like there is something out there that's going to make R Ruby grow. And again, it seems like it is just that, the, the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, that, that was, that was, this will be the day we're about to check uh, Red, like Rose's part one. Th this will be the day is kind of like the, uh, like the, the, the big, the big like first song, you know, I think that's the first song we hear in the show. Depends, because if you are talking about the trailer, this one that we're gonna about to listen to oh, is right. a trailer. One. But that yeah, no, right. I think it is. I think it is definitely the first one because it's the season starts with her listening to music, mm -hmm. and that is the song that she's mm -hmm. listening to. So if you have not seen the trailers, then yeah, that's the song to go. But right now we're gonna go for Red Like Roses Part One. Let's click on that bad boy. I'm gonna go full screen for this one because it's. it's slightly smaller it's completely different from part two <clears throat> I did it on it's rhythm. like a beat drop dude <laughs> <laughs> would you say that this is a harp sounds like a yeah Hmm. Ah, they're talking about Weiss here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, they're just talking about all the characters. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I like it that they actually managed to find a way to weave them all together. Black the Beast insinuating that she's yeah. uh, part of the White Fang. Yellow beauty burns mm -hmm. like you, you, we just recently saw the gold the, and she because she turns you know yeah like the fire like mm -hmm. the hair and she's goldilocks as okay well. I dig it there's yeah. a lot of foreshadowing in this song yeah I mean they're already telling you that Blake is a it's a beast uh huh yeah that Spanish guitar is so good.
I saw I can try my best to recreate this music, but I just I I'm I'm a huge potato. That's our big Weebs Closet project is covering these songs one day. At least one of them, man. Yeah, like, at I, least I, one of them. Cause... I was trying to do Rice, which is one of the uh, volume sixes. I was okay. trying to do. Uh, I opened Caffeine, and I'm like, no. I mean, that's the like the intro, fastest song. Yeah, the intro just immediately murdered me. And again, it's I, I play bass, uh, but not to that scale. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Jesus, it took me like a whole like an hour to realize that I I'm, I'm just not not at that skill level. It sounds kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean a little bit there. I like it. Now it's like a horror movie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is kind of like the Ruby theme, what they were just playing right there. Because I remember one of the episodes uh, when when Torchwick mm. and Sun Wong, Sunny were fighting. I want to say Sun Wukong, but it's not Sun Wukong. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that, is, is, but that is, is actually his name. Sun Wukong? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, legit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's, um, his name is Sun, and then Wukong is his last name. Him and Torchwick were fighting, then Ruby showed up, and it played that like harp melody when Ruby, yeah, when Ruby came in. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's like, yeah, her theme. I would like, uh, like the WWE intro song. That's 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 hers. <laughs> yeah, you could say. I guess we're getting all of them because Mirror Mirror is Weiss's. Yeah. And then I know the next two. I'm already getting goosebumps because I know this song for like I love it. This is uh, Mirror Mirror is one of the ones that I love. But actually, let me try to go back real quick because I like it immediately jumped to the next one. Unfortunately, so I didn't get to read much. Usually, some of these do say something about it. Uh okay, bah, 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 bah. yeah, it's surprising. Like some of them actually do have some sort of subtext, but apparently these ones don't have it. So let's just uh go to the next one, mirror mirror. Let's see if it has any subtext. Uh, subtext. Hmm. Unless it's on the suggested. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of, but I don't see it here. Bah, 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 bah. Not at all. So let's go to mirror mirror real quick. It's about to start. Hit it on three, two, no swimos. No swimos. I don't know what that means. No fuimos. It's the Puerto Rican, yeah, it's the Puerto Rican uh, version of we're going. Ah. It's hella slang. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one. I know that I'm like probably overacting a little bit on the music, but I'm also help like that will help me sinking a little bit more. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, that's true. So good. Like <clears throat> this one actually like legit just uh, provokes feelings to a certain degree on me. I don't know about you, but like I think it's because I've seen the show a little bit more, mm -hmm. and uh, I can I can understand what he's trying to say. So it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. As of right now, Weiss is still a bitch to she me. She is, and she's just complaining about being lonely. But I ooh. mean. Yeah, uh, the thing, and that's the thing. That's the beauty of the show. Is like, like right now, you feel a particular way about mm -hmm. every single characters, and let me tell you that some of the feelings on like a, quite a few characters, like your your perspective on changes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it, in terms of like how you view people in throughout the show, will change constantly, and that's hence why like uh, I think these uh, all the comments are always saying like, oh, I like the idea of like your favorite character so far. Because there's all, it's ever changing, it's, mm -hmm. it will be forever changing, uh, unless you're not paying attention and you don't care. You're only looking at like the character per se. Then you know at that point is what it is. Um, uh, but yeah, now this one I like it a lot because again, we are kind of used to seeing uh, Wise as a B word mainly because it feels like she's entitled. Mm -hmm. It just feels like she's entitled, but clearly she, that's she just feels like the entitled victim. You know, like, she's always trying to be the victim when, like, somebody, like, <clears throat> Blake has actually struggled through something. Mm. And we haven't really seen why struggle more just complain about things. Mm. So I want to see, I want to see some, some stuff with Weiss. Like, yeah. I, I do like all the characters. There's not a single character in the show that I'm like, eh, I'm not really interested in that character. Yeah. But, well, I guess, um, I don't know. I don't love the uh, Aladdin chick yet. She's oh, just kind of... Is she from Aladdin? The uh, the green hair. Green hair? No. 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 Oh, what, uh, that, was that, that was the that was Meryl's side. Like oh, she's well, like oh, the, the. I guess Cleopatra was... didn't. I, yeah. I thought you said it was yeah. Aladdin, but no. Um... No, no. We, I never agreed to it. Like they, uh, it was more like it was not Cleo, and I, then mm -hmm. Meryl threw that out, and I just said, you know, that they, honestly at this point he's better off to like keep it for this uh, later on because it's gonna be easier to like nail nail yeah, on the head. Yeah. But yeah. Like, uh, but I mean, they're both good guesses, regardless. But nonetheless, yeah, I, I don't think to this day there's a single character that I dislike, and hence why I'm like, I was talking about the whole. I don't understand when people hate Cinder and whatnot. Like, there's like mm -hmm. a huge divide on who likes who and whatever, and mm -hmm. particular of Cinder. But honestly, I I like every single character. I don't think there's any character that's unlikable. That's a lie. There's one, but I'm not gonna mention it just yet. Um. <laughs> But that's the only one All that right. I may be like, eh. But other than that, it brought things to the table regardless. So I feel like there was still meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. um, but no. Uh, but I like this one because, again, it's 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 giving you that perspective of, like, uh, there's a reason why Wise is the way that she is. And although that is not giving you the whole idea, it's kind of, like, hinting you. It's like, I've been uh, feeling, like, really bad about myself. X, y, and Z. Like, I've been feeling by, uh, lonely and whatnot. There's things that I've probably seen. There's things that make me feel terrible. Why don't you let me hide? Why don't you let me hide from me? Mm -hmm. You know, so the and to a degree kind of like uh, digs to depression as well to a certain degree because it just feels like uh, that's kind of like the idea. Like whenever somebody's on a huge depression as well, they kind of like don't want to deal with themselves. So they're trying yeah. to hide away from this. As well. I just guess where I'm coming from with Weiss is that when somebody tells me they have depression, I'm like, oh, that's sad. When somebody explains the process of them being diagnosed with depression, like the chain of events that led to them being depressed, I'm like, oh, like mm. I'm like, I can relate. I feel empathy. I feel sympathy, you know? And we just haven't gotten that with Weiss yet. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I am open to love the character. Yeah, no, and, and honestly, like, yeah, the, it's, it's a really sophisticated topic because 
whatever it's big for you, it's small for me. Mm-hmm. And whatever is big for me for you, it's, yeah, it's all small and significant until you like until st- you know. exp- explain yeah. it into detail, which again, we haven't seen it with her. Oh, and that's 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 for wise going back to the one for ruby at the beginning we kind of i I can i feel like we didn't explain because the episode just went forward or the music but the last one was saying like uh something about uh, being hunted in the dreams uh from the place you rest Mm -hmm. or whatever so clearly she's dealing with some sort of loss as well like it's not shown but ruby in some sort of ways dealing with loss so that's something also to keep in mind as well, because uh, we have that innocent innocent child going around just trying to do her best, but like there probably is some sort of a fuel, like lighting that fire, or whatever, of trying to be better. So that's something to keep an eye out as well for the next ones. Uh, the next one is from the shadows. I, we already checked this one. Didn't have anything? So okay, I, I've said mm. that this is this is my. Every song I say, this is my favorite. This, <laughs> like, Breaking Character, legit might be my favorite song. Oh, Love breaking, this song. Breaking Character. Uh, like, I, this is honestly, uh, I have to say, out of the, the trailer songs, mm-hmm. this, like you said, this is definitely my favorite. And I think it's because it has different aspects to it. Mm-hmm. But with that said, jumping into the front of the shells. I'm trying to save. Uh... Man, I'm trying to find because I've seen people read. I guess people send them a message uh, to the people. So, or is there any kind of explanation anywhere? We probably Richard this for you guys. So let's see. Oh God, I can't read the comments. Was it bad? I think. I, I know. I, I just don't want to get spoiled. You get. You get a point. <laughs> I like the bass. I like that, yeah. I love this whole, like, one-minute, two-minute intro that they have mm-hmm. for the song. And it sounds so different from the whole song, too. Like, most intros sound different from the actual song. It's, like, super techno Yeah. yeah it literally says techno <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you know the whole lyrics to this one? Yes. Intruder alert is coming up here in a second. Yeah. Knowing what you know now, read it again. Okay. Okay, I, yeah, I, the first few ly- lyrics I already know, you know? All right, let's see. This is the best song in the show already, like, for real. If we're tying it in with characters. Yeah. There's, like, history in this song. Yeah. (laughs) The fucking Patrick gif. I just love the duo. It's so good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean, in, in if we were to take uh, word per word as it was, it sounds like it's Blake from back then, not necessarily now. Mm-hmm. We don't know that though. Hmm? I mean, she's a student now. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't feel like hate, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, the, the like, I feel like it's coming more of a we mm-hmm. perspective. Oh yeah. So it, it it comes more. I feel like it comes more from the white fans' perspective. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that she still feels the hate and still feels the, the all that crap going on. Oh, 
I like that you don't even need the words to hear, like, the, the same guitar is, like, basically saying the lyrics for you. Like, the, 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 the way guitar? That, yeah, the way that, like, it's being, like, shaken and whatnot, it's mm. exactly per, like, syllable. It's so crazy. Yeah, that, that solo was pretty insane. You got a full minute of, okay, I guess that's a full minute of the outro, per se. Yeah. Because at this point in the trailers, whenever she's like... Cutting the, the mm -hmm. train apart. This whole, yeah, this whole song is like a story, you know? It's much less about one character and it's like lore. You're reading lore or you're listening to it. Yeah, anyway. like it, it definitely is more dedicated to the faunus other than anything else in general. And uh, again, uh, faunus in total and then the whole idea of like will rise just makes me think of the, bl uh, the black fang, the white fang. Um, because again, that was the whole idea. Like, and she explained it to Son in the last episode of season one. That it's mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, we did this cause in order to, you know, after the war, in order to make ourselves be balanced and equal. But like, we just, you know, they had to force it. Yeah, and then they had to switch uh, tactics to a more aggressive uh, vision. And after a while, she that's whenever she decided like I don't want to, I, I don't want this anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, which is probably what happened in the trailer, because in the trailer, if you if we go back, they were fighting together and whatever. And at one point, uh, they found find something that they were looking for, like they open a coffin or something, a cash, a cash. Um, and the guy's like, oh sweet, uh, lo uh, load the charges. And her response was, uh, what about the passengers or like the crew members? And the guy's like what about him so clearly he was down to like murder everybody in mm -hmm. there while she's like not in that path and that's i think that's why she cut the train which a lot of people are uh, like and i think uh, uh like whenever we reacted to it, it's like why and i, and I, I mm -hmm. do remember that i made the joke it's like well realistically the guy had all the all the time in the world to jump into the other cart but again i was just trying to be funny with it but uh the idea was that that's why she separated um, we might have to do a re-reaction of the trailers now, now that you understand the story yeah. <laughs> I mean and granted uh, we were like dead asleep whenever we did it mm. this is a version played Black Terror this is a complete version that you're gonna listen for okay. so yeah I, I sucks I, I sucks that I cannot find something that would explain it in detail <gasps> a little bit more I just read something no you didn't read anything uh, let's go for the next one before you keep reading anything this is <laughs> What Dude, I, I that was even my guess. Like about, can I say what I read? Go ahead. Um, it was like a meme about what all the trailer songs are about. Oh, okay. And the Ren Ruby song is about her mom. Oh, okay. Who is Cinder? That's still my guess. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I think that, but I do. I mean. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, let's go to... Uh... You can't say that, Neko. Because <laughs> when you say that, I know you're you're fibbing. You're lying to me. I always lie. Not always. But nonetheless, this is okay. uh, I Burn by... Uh, this is I, I'm guessing this is uh, Yang's. Yes. So we're starting in 3, 2, 1. I like this one. My favorite song. This is my favorite song. My, my top five. <laughs> <laughs> And these are the words of a tank. Legit. It is hot and it is July. It is legit, yeah. <laughs> I like that like you can kind of feel the personality of almost every single one of the characters mm -hmm. in their songs. Gotta give props to Casey Lee Williams. Yeah. Who, I don't know, I can't think of another singer's voice that I like more than hers. Like, any singer, really. And I it's crazy, because you would think great. that she would lose that over the years, but honestly, like, she's still hitting them notes strong. It's insane. Well, she's super young still, isn't Like, I think we, isn't she like... We looked it up, but I think she was like around 20. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. Okay, 
Okay, we gotta we gotta make that joke more often then. Super Saiyan. I honestly thought that somebody had said it in the in the episode I think with we the did. robot. Yeah. Hopefully it's the one that makes it in. Hopefully. I forgot the name of this guy. Lamar, I think is the name. Oh, just dropped a F bomb in the Ruby soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're dropping their bombs in here. And now you know why they don't use the whole song. <laughs> yeah. I just realized that, yeah. I was like, I've never heard this part before. What's up with that? Yeah, L Lamar is actually in a lot of different songs, and, like, I, he hits hard, too. Like, I'm so, like, I, I like that Jeff Williams knows who to pick for his songs. So is that Yang's semblance, uh... Whenever she gets hit, she becomes stronger. Yeah, so far, like in the in the episode with the the fight with the robot, that's what they show. Like they showed her taking a hit and immediately becoming a little bit stronger mm -hmm. on that part. So uh, yeah, and again, Ruby did say that that's what makes her special. So it is to assume so far that that's her ability. It's just that she can take hits and vision back. Mm -hmm. uh, if anything, if I guess if I were to compare it, kind of like Fat Gum, I guess. Fat Gum, yeah. From uh, my hero, Hulk. Yeah, I mean, but Hulk just is always strong. Yeah. Well, well, he does get. Well, Hulk is isn't when he gets hit; it's the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not much to say about this one. This is just a pure, uh, pure Yang personality. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Uh, and again, like I said, like throughout the volumes, the the songs do evolve to a degree. So like you'll see that some of the names stay the same, but they have part one, part two, part three, and so on and so forth. Some of them have similar names, but a little bit better one, which I'm pretty sure you're reading on the next one <laughs> on the bottom. Uh, oh, I didn't see that. No, but uh, we're going for the next one. Ruby Gold. I don't remember this one. I no, I don't. I cannot think of what this may be. Gold. Ruby Gold. The name is Gold, but I don't think I recognize it. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's an ending song. Oh, I like it actually. This is one of those that I might have heard like one time a few <laughs> years ago. Yeah. But I don't really remember it. it does sound like an, an outro song. Yeah. Though. <laughs> That's pretty cool. She's just holding it with a single hand. That's a pretty cool. Uh... What's going on with Blake over there? So what? Nothing. My guy. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's pretty cool. Like he's hanging from the. Oh, that's cool. I like I like the sound. It's it's playful to a degree. I like it. I wish Meryl was here so she could see like all this art style. She would mm -hmm. love the art style. I mean the artwork. Oh wow, they have the full like cast in this.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, legit is like the full cast to a certain degree. Because that's card in the right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you said it right. I've been saying it right the whole episode. <laughs> Ooh. And there's uh, Ruby's mom. Mama Bear? I'm gonna yeah, keep yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna speak it into existence. Why is she holding on to him like that though? I don't know. I I honestly think this is just straight up fan art. Okay, that makes sense. Not like, I like that it kind of switched to a lullaby. Mm -hmm. I like this a little bit better. And it's on. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to K-pop. I, I can see it. I can see it. He's having a party. Upside down. Hmm. I don't know why they started showing up, but they started showing up. That's pretty cool. I, I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, it, again, it it does bother me that like it, it's not okay. So there's the full lyrics in here as well. If we wanted to read them. Uh, it seems like it's just a more about the like, differentiate between all them. Mm -hmm. Like if you, you know, if you need anybody, you'll be here. I mean, I'll be here because even at the end of the season, which if, might be the reason why this is here, is like you know, I don't care your path right now. Like if anything bad happens, just come to us. That's what Wise told. From what I saw, it was season one, episode three. That's what I played. read. Yeah, but what happened in season? Th I mean, episode three. Episode uh, that is like the episode that Ruby met Weiss for the first time. I think maybe. I think that's episode two. two. Yeah, and then episode three, it's them starting the the thing, I think. That's right. Like being launched yeah. to the thing, which I have no idea why. But at that point, I think they had introduced all the main characters in there. Let me try to go back up because you are reading way too much. <laughs> but let me check real quick because I'm a little bit paranoid. Okay, it's going. All right, so now we're jumping into I May Fall. Ooh. The best song in the show. <sighs> Ooh, Marvel Studios. Oh, my God. I don't care about that. All I right, care so. about this. Yeah, there you go. I may fall. He's going. This song is so good. I'm trying to think when he got played. I think this is the most motivational song in the soundtrack. I may fall. I'm trying to think where did they play this? I don't remember. Because honestly, and I mean, yeah, I, cannot, I just cannot think of it. Like, I've heard it before, I just don't know where. I love those shots of like them, like, midair. Mm -hmm. People still fight with me saying that uh, Blake had that shot, but like I go back and her shot is so fast compared to the rest. Mm -hmm. The rest were slow motion. Yeah. 
and that's my only like my only complaint is like they should have had Blake doing it in slow motion as well. But again, I guess it's because it didn't go with the music. The music is fast paced. The the artwork on on this like fan art is insane. Mm -hmm. Like I I just love like great communities that can come up with this kind of things. Like yeah, low key. Like I'm just honestly waiting to see what Meryl can create eventually. Like I really thought that she's gonna devote herself into making a lot of this art, but like I well, know that she can turn us into Ruby characters. That'd be great. Yeah, I hope I hope that happens. I'm 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 praying for it. Um. Cause her art is amazing. I love I love Meryl's art. I just really like how dark this song is, but there's like that little little glimmer of hope. Yeah. It's like it's like yeah. It's like that one moment before the you use the limit break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About yeah. to like die, you like use the limit break. The final stand, you could mm. say. Probably everybody just falling down, and like it's in like you know you losing your people, but right beside you just charging in. Probably that last one hit. This song is almost a story in its in its own way because at the beginning, they talked about how your friends when things get tough and your friends leave, and now it's saying that you're gonna stand with your friends. Mm -hmm. I may fall, and I like that too. It's like you know, like I I might just wither. But not today, not by you. I like, I like that. That's pretty good. I'm telling you, it's motivational. It is. Like my arms, my eyes are kind of watery again. Because, uh, kind of like with mirror, mirror. But I'm holding it back. I'm holding it back. I'm Let it go, Neko. Let it go. I'm a strong man. Th those tears may fall. <laughs> no, no, we went with bullet for my Valentine here. That's that's when you say <laughs> not today. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I cannot find the mice. I mean, the mice, the mouse. Uh, so I'm curious because now it's red, uh, red like roses, which I am confusion because now I'm thinking how many songs were they? Were nine? Yeah, it Did was we... just there on the playlist. It was showing. Uh, we have two left. So we go to two left. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that battery. Come on now, Neko. No, we got plenty. We got plenty. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, wait a second. Red like roses part two. Let me, that way I can see. Oh, so. We've moved on to uh, the best song in the show. I mean, uh, yeah, the top five. <laughs> the top five. Hit it. it. Hit it. Hit it. I always enjoyed this song, but I didn't love it, love it until they showed it. Um, players and pieces. Yeah, players and. Oh my god, you remember the episode's name? Look at what can I say? I I know my lore. I don't know Aladdin chick's name, but I know. Yeah. The, the episode name. Yeah. <laughs> right, check check the lyrics though. I mean, and see the see the artwork. Mm -hmm. That's Ruby somewhere. In a cemetery, it looks like. Because when Cinder faked her death <laughs> and joined the bad guys. I mean, you might be right. She may have had a plastic surgery. I'm probably like 80%, 90% chance that I'm just way off. But I mean, I may, I may be just roping you around because after the comments butchered me, like I, I, I'm just trying to take a different approach now. Okay. Ooh, the voice is different. Is this a different singer? It always it it's always sounded one. like it's the same one. Is this is Casey Casey Lee Williams. I think so. It just sounds it's a slightly different. Yeah. I could be wrong. Let us know. <clears throat> Maybe it's her mama. Maybe it's Cinder. Yeah, I could see it being like voice modulation. 
mm. of some sort, but it, it really because doesn't sound she, like her authentic voice. Yeah, like, like because she hits the same notes pretty good, so mm -hmm. I feel I, like I want to say it's her, but I don't know. Is this Ruby's mom singing this? I feel like we might need to reread the lyrics on this one. Maybe. Okay, maybe it's from Ruby's perspective. Or maybe it's both. It is. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the. <laughs> I like that I just figured that out mid song. <clears throat> yeah, so like that, that, that was the whole point of like two different text colors. Um, mm -hmm. I was hoping, I, I thought that since we saw the other one with uh in from shadows that have different colors i thought you were gonna catch this i'm dumb bro it took like, you, a bit. <laughs> you can't expect me to figure that out <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a brilliant song it's good. So good, so freaking good. Let's see if they had the full lyrics on this bad boy. I hope they do. If not, then we are kind of screwed. But yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I don't want to read the comments. I just read something about you don't know shit. Good, good, <laughs> because you don't know. Uh, let's see. So, like, right at the beginning. Oh, shoot. so like right at the beginning. Can you stop? Uh, yeah, to have. Yeah, okay. So you can see here that it's basically saying like you know now it's I'm I'm without you forever which is kind of mm. crazy. Um, <clears throat> again, like I'm, I really cannot take away your or uh, your theory away because of the fact that there's there's things like uh, was it Swordfish I think it is or like uh, I forgot the name the name of the movie with uh, Nicolas Cage and John Travolta Face Off I think face off, yeah. yeah Face Off so like you know. And in this world where we just saw that there's dust, there's our others, there's a lot of things, there's semblances. So I really cannot. I don't want to. Cinders is fire, right? Similar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think there's more nuance to it, but it, it hasn't been explained. Oh. Uh, My theory after episode, the last episode that we watched, and I don't, I don't even want to look at you, is that I don't even want to see the camera. I don't want to see anything. Is that there are some characters that don't just have one semblance. That's all I'm gonna say. You you think that there's an all for one in this place? Not not necessarily somebody stealing powers, but, but, but just able to manifest more than one. I mean, there, there's a probability. I really, uh, I, yeah. I mean, again, there's a, in a world with a lot of uh, semblances and whatnot. It's fine. There's no such thing as something that's finite. There, there <clears> has <throat> to be there has to be multiple things that you can do and cannot do. So yeah, but I do like that you know they kind of put you in this perspective of like the mom and the, and the daughter kind of get, get going back and forth on it. I'm gonna go back and listen to this song again when we're done. It, um, it is a great, it is a great song, and I mean and ultimately, like who's to say that I, I mean, who's to say that whatever Cinder is doing is not for the better? You know, like we don't know enough about her character. Exactly. So and and probably you know you, you, she had to like leave her behind just to like portray herself as something different and try to get into like some sort of like I don't know like there there's so many things that can happen. And again, it's just the beginning of the show. We haven't actually had like a set story of what's happening. So that's kind of like like Mikey said, it's kind of building up toward an actual story and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely still up in the air as to what it can be and can it not be. Yeah. Uh. So. Yeah, again, I cannot knock your your theories because I mean your theories are good as mine. Whenever I started, so I really like people that like immediately start shutting you down for something that you're coming up with. I really cannot do that. Hell no! Like that's the whole point. Oh, oh I'm having a twitch. Ah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think this is the last one on the 
on the thing. It's mm-hmm. called Wings. We're about to start it, and after that, if anything, give a little bit more of our thoughts. Yeah. But other than that, let's go. Thirty-nine thousand views. Interesting. And yeah, I don't remember this one at all. Me neither. I do oh, remember this one. Yes. Yeah, that's this, this is a great song. Actually, this is the legit outro of the mm-hmm. whole series, and the, yeah, it's a sad one because we're in the end. <laughs> I like the piano on it. When you're waiting for a small sign, patience. You don't want to look at the camera, I don't want to look at you. <laughs> that fucking killed me. It's just like your your reactions sometimes make me question everything. And then you hit me with the, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I'm just like, okay, well, whatever. I've never watched this show, so I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I'm liking that the song is giving me goosebumps, but at the same time, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, and I... I do wonder why they only have Blake in it in the thing. Yeah. Because I don't necessarily think it's her song. Mm hmm. It almost seems like seems either unrelated to everyone or related to everyone. Yeah, I do. I do think it's more like on the bigger spectrum of like any everybody's downs more than more than anything. I don't know about that. We stay awake for like more than 24 hours at a time. <laughs> Trying to work on videos it's like, like everything 4 else. I'm right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what a bass. I love it whenever you can tell apart the instruments. It's, it's. Mm-hmm. I, I really enjoy that, especially because bass is really underappreciated. Because uh, usually it follows the patterns of the guitars or the or the drums, and so it's really hard to pick up. But whenever you can pick it up, it's just so good. Because mm-hmm. uh, yes, it sets the pace, but you can. It also gets lost, and I think it's uh, yeah. I think so too, yeah. Now, what I also like is whenever I think that something is a guitar and all of a sudden it turns out to be the freaking <laughs> bass, I'm like, what? How? That happens a lot with uh, Blink-182. There'll be like a bass solo and I'm like, oh, it's... that guitar is pretty good. And then you check it, it's like, oh, snap. <laughs> This is definitely a candlelight. Yeah. It, it honestly feels like the end of the of the concert, and you just like it's the last song before I go by. Why not? This is for you to like leave. 
crying and whatever and then you're like i want another show and then you immediately buy the ticket to the other show because <laughs> you're gonna live without it i, I like it it's That's it's good, yeah. it, it's really heavy compared to the other ones in terms of like it, it definitely makes you reflect on a lot of things and it's pretty good i like it, it it's pretty good it, it just sucks that it's the last one because like i would have loved to end with a happy note on this but like mm -hmm. it's just so so strong we got eight more vault or seven as of right now seven more volumes to react so. yeah uh but yeah no this, for it. this definitely has been pretty a pretty pretty good uh soundtrack so far mm -hmm. um, i mean like i said i cannot wait for you to actually see how it evolves because again it's one thing to listen to them because they sound great and but now whenever you attach it to the characters as they grow and again i'm pretty sure this is why the community wants us to watch this or, or react to this is because even if we have listened to it before we are now putting it in context and now mm -hmm. understanding what it's what's the meaning behind it. So I'm I'm definitely extremely excited for the rest of the shows. Right now we're in episode was five in season two. I think that's where we're yeah, uh, somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. So like w once we reach uh, volume three, that's whenever things are like bigger pieces start coming up, and there's a uh, like a little bit more uh, uh, death for de depth. For oh, the character. depth. No, no, not death, but like death for the characters. Yeah, I apologize. My my um my accent is kind of hard, you know, kind of harsh. Is it hard or heavy? Whichever you want to say, I don't know anymore, man. Uh, but no, no. Um, <laughs> but the thing is that yeah, so like it's pretty cool. I, 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 that's what I want to do. See, and plus uh uh you you get to see new voices and whatnot that, that you may recognize someone so that's another mm -hmm. thing that i want you to to catch as well but other than that like any any final thoughts on this what are your top three favorite songs in volume one you have to rank them from three two one three two one hmm. i'm curious Okay, so I think Black uh, from Shadows might be the number one. Okay, I agree. That's my number one, too. Um, number two might be uh, part Red Like Roses Part 2. Me, too. And then for me, I think this is where we're going to differ. Three for me is Mirror Mirror. Okay, yeah, because mine is I May Fall. I May Fall. My, I May Fall uh, is great. But This Will Be The Day is really good, too. It's tough. It, 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 is, it is definitely really difficult. I like I like Mirror Mirror because I, it's because of my more context. Mm -hmm. I, I've I heard the evolution of the song, mm -hmm. so because of that, I I like I love Mirror Mirror. Mm -hmm. The the I, I love them all. The only one I didn't love was Gold. Yeah, Gold Gold was really playful. I, I liked it, but it's not a song that I would like. Oh my god, I need to play mm -hmm. right now. So be, both that one and Wings are the probably the weakest ones. Yeah. Uh, not because they're bad, but rather like these ones, like they, they hit hard differently. The other ones will like pumped you up a little bit more. You wanted to do other things while you were listening to it. So yeah, I'll say this. The, I think the reason gold and wings stand out as the two weakest is because they have like, they almost have like, uh, what is it? Like modern song syndrome or just like, like, uh, music industry syndrome in general, where mm. like Justin Bieber sings like about a girl and every girl thinks that yeah he's singing about her and because there's no like specific context to the song it's very broad yeah. and i think that's what wings and gold kind of hit whereas like i may fall red like roses i burn like all these songs are so specific to either one or two characters mm -hmm. that you're like oh like i i can like latch on to this you know what i mean yeah no definitely i can understand that uh I may have to cut it right there, guys, because the battery is about to die. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like it, this was great. We love it, and we'll pro we'll definitely gonna do it for the next ones because it, it does bring a little bit more insight for the for the show. But with that said, guys, this was the Weeps Closet, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, people. Thank you, guys, for joining us on another Weeps Closet reaction. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos.